We're almost at the end though, so let's move on. Hayati, two years have passed. Info from Eleanor. And he heads to the Freedom Survivors. Is he not already there? No, it's... So they visit the Freedom Survivor twice. This can be extended version of the scene. It best be. Do you feel it as well? Yeah, it is. Yes, only faintly, but something's definitely wrong. Discover her real intentions. Okay, now it makes more sense than just saying it's up to you. Ayane, it's up to you. I don't know why they had to cut those lines out from the previous version. And I still don't get why she has to run like a twat. Why would she do something like this? Okay. A few weeks later. Ah, finally the ninja so this is just after Chris has been beat, I guess. But you'll be leaving empty handed. The mark is mine. Done. No. You won't find Donovan My mark. Christy then? But he's, he's not got his um is a torch on him, so presumably he's not after Christy. This whole scene seems kind of pointless, really. I, I, I don't know, it's just odd. I, 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 don't, I don't get this whole idea of Hayate being rivals with Bayman. Especially since actually, I'm pretty sure they cut the fight from Dead Alive Dimension. They might not have done. Might just have a faulty memory, but I'm sure they cut it. I shouldn't have fought. I hadn't healed <laughs> yet. I've this is this seems so this random. Facility. I'll show you the way. Follow me. Again, it's follow this idea of people being like, "I want to kill this person." No, I want to kill this person. And, Instead of just saying, instead of prioritizing killing them. Okay, my mark is all yours now. No, instead of just prioritizing killing a particular person, person, it's like I have to be the one to do it. No more words. Face so we can finally get the explanation for what the deal with 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 her earlier was, and we've, we've evidently gone back. To, apparently, we went around in a circle because back where we just were. That's kind of the, that's kind of a problem that fighting that fighting games face. When it comes to uh, having a story mode, is that the, is that the, you're limited in what stages you can have? And glad you didn't launch me into something then, because that would have been ruinous to my cause. Ha ha. I don't know why I said ha ha. I just did. I think because he, he, he moves back, so it, fe it feels like it has really shit range, and that was cool. Oh Jesus! Looks like she passed out or died. And she's fled. Uh, what was that chop about then? Oh. That's what. Wait, did, did Hayate just casually take the chopper out? So here we go, we're finally getting the explanation. I actually know what the explanation is. Like, it's something, something that I've remembered the whole time, but of course I'm not going to tell you what it is. But he's, he's still, surely he, he, Hayate still doesn't have an explanation for it. Oh, I thought he was just going to jump out the chopper and help out, but no, he just stabs the guys in the chopper because he has to be the hard bastard who just does everything. Why does Mewtwo sound like he's out, out of like Persona 3 or 4? Yes, Ayane getting her ass kicks. That's how it should be. And he's like, I'll attack you with my sword. And now we've reached the part from before. I don't think this music that music is necessarily fitting for the scene. You know, it's, it's supposed to be like a, a much more serious and dark and depressing scene. 
in which this guy just kills his own sister, and she kills her own sister. We must move quickly, Ayane. I don't, I don't think this is going to be the end of Hayate's chapter either, because I think I've only had two fights. Yeah. So Ryu comes along. I don't know why this scene has to be done this way. Like, why can't they just render it in-engine? Just keep it that way. And that's that. Kasumi's dead. We don't get an explanation until later. Oh, what? The green. She was burdened with a cruel fate, but hers was still a life like any other. Donovan. Why have you brought Wait, are you blaming Donovan for this? And what on earth are you trying to I know Donovan is, of course, partially to blame, but why not have got Hayate saying, You fucking murdered her, you shit. But no, because Ryu's like, Hayate makes all the best decisions, except when he failed to... No, the best decisions, he just shits at following, following him up. He's like, you should have killed Kasumi by now. Hmm. And then he goes from there to just some random scene of them infiltrating this place. <laughs> I thought it'd just be like a little beep, but no, it's like... The siren. It really makes it seem like they've, like they've fucked up somehow in the in the alert. And again, don't just label your secret hidden base, you dumb fuckers. I mean, that's so dumb. You're supposed to leave all the incriminated evidence in notes, not on the front door. Have you never played Resident Evil, guys? Actually, I think playing and. Uh, you know, I, I kid, but I think playing Resident Evil might actually help the guys that missed actually keep their evil doings a secret. It's like, yeah, this is how you don't do things and keep secrets. Use that to learn. And all, this is very much like an umbrella lab, you know, a big underground this thing. As as I go. You finish this. <laughs> it makes a big deal of. I, could, I will fight my mark. You will not. And then they just. Then it's like, you go on ahead and do all that. It's like, what's Bayman doing then? You know? Rig? You took your time. I've been waiting. Come on. Show me some real Mugen Tenchi. Why though? And I love how Hayate runs at him as, as if he's as if he's like super pissed off and ready to fight. What's funny is that the Dead Dead Dimensions actually, uh, with this more tutorial style for the story mode, actually has when a character runs in in a cutscene, they can actually be continue continue running into the fight. Whereas here, Hayate just runs in like ah and stops, and it's like um, I thought you were pissed off. Uh. Uh, damn you, you son of a bitch. Fuck. No, I let go of the button. Why did it make me keep going? I'm gonna die. Oh, good. I thought it was gonna hit me then. I thought I was gonna be like, no, my hubris. I'm not sure it is hubris, but I said it anyway. It's like, OMG. What even is this thing? It's weird how she actually ran away. Rig is a villain. I mean, it kind of comes out of nowhere, to be honest. <laughs> Um. Pfft, what the fuck? Wh what? <laughs> it's like it is fate. True, Kasumi. What? It continues from there. What's happening? Yeah, as as it turns out, that the Kasumi that you play as in was it two? Yeah, two chapters is actually a clone. I don't think it's phase four. 
It might be, but the, the Dead or Alive wiki doesn't call her, have her be, you don't call her phase four. The the wiki actually uh, has her down as, um, oh, what was it now? They, they, they have her down as false Kasumi, because this is true Kasumi. So apparently she's not phase four, which is weird, because they make this big deal out of phase four, and it goes nowhere. I don't know, maybe they'll retcon in DOA 6. A messenger just came by. Thank you for everything. Yeah, she's Ram staying with Muramasa. <laughs> don't mention it. It's nothing, my dear. That's Sam Regal doing that voice. Go on. That is an awful old man voice. <laughs> yeah, but she's just randomly been with Muramasa this entire time. I, I can only assume that Ryu set this up because Ryu and, and uh, Muramasa are good friends. Um, okay. Okay. And I feel this whole sequence would, would, would have been way cooler in a Ninja Gaiden style game. Or just in Ninja Gaiden. And then, Kasumi shows up in this new outfit, which is basically, as I like to call it, a sexy female Ryu. I mean, that's basically what this outfit is. Oh, yeah, that, that's that's good. Have a show up and like, run away from the chopper fire, then suddenly she's just walking. Yeah, so how weird is that, that the, the main character of the story doesn't actually show up Stop until right the very end of the game? I don't know how, how uh, she's right in front of Kasumi. Kasumi didn't notice her. I can't let you go any further. Then I'll I do like uh, Chris's outfit. The one from Four was a bit weird, but I really, I really like, I really like this one. It's, it's, it's similar to the one from um, DOA Three, but different. And that's how they should be. Have a consistent style, but not exactly the same outfit. And it's, it's actually funny because uh, when they did the PS Vita version of uh, Dead or Alive Five, Dead or Alive Five Plus. Which, as far as I know, didn't actually add any new content other than like some like thing we can take pictures of the characters. Uh, damn it! I don't goofed on that, but yeah, uh, yeah. On the cover of that is the same cover as the normal five, but with uh, Kasumi replaced with this outfit. So was Rig gone? No idea. Oh, there he is. Wait, he weren't there a second ago? He actually was not there. I already am let's playing. Fucking hell. People have unreasonable expectations of me. Let him go. Let him go, Mer. But yeah, so I, I, I'm just going to assume that, that uh, it actually is supposed to be uh, Phase four that uh, is killed in the story, which is kind of a shame because you know I like Phase four. There's also there's also the, the rather unfortunate th uh, thing is because as as Ryu points out, false Kasumi it was that is is a real she ha she she has her own mind, her own personality. As far as she knows, she is Kasumi. So can you imagine this from her perspective? Her beloved brother and her former best friend and half sister both actually murdered her out of nowhere, without just cause. Project Epsilon, they're reactivating it. How do you not know all everything that's going on, Lisa? This is why Lisa is one of the worst characters in the series. She makes no sense. I, why is she working for Donovan still? I mean, I thought after DOA 4 she would have just stopped working for him. Like a normal person. And they don't try cutting the place open. A basic cellular level. So this whole thing about reactivating Project Epsilon... What I'm hoping, for, what I really think would be the best is if they actually just cloned Hayate. 
and the and the clone was Ein. One five two. Yeah, but it's like it's phase four. We're done phase four. Please, you must stop it. She was crazy with clothes. Yeah. Such selfish arrogance. I mean selfish arrogance. Yeah, so in the true Kasumi chapter, you play as other characters. And I love how she doesn't actually have a name on the health gauge. So, I think this is supposed to be Alpha 152. The game's not very clear on that. That's, that's, kind, of the, that's kind of the problem with having so many pissing clones. I think the whole clone thing would have, been, would have made a lot more sense if they just said there was one, just one successful clone ever. You know, it's just one successful clone, that was Alpha, and she's Alpha 152, or Alpha was killed during DOA 2, and then Alpha 152 was created, and she is the the, uh, the actual final model, all the rest had uh, failed. But I don't know what the whole obsession with cloning Kasumi is, I think it's because she killed Raido, and, and like, maybe Raido is considered the best by the guys at Doha Tech, I don't know. It's, it's kind of dumb, really, when you think about it. It's really fucking dumb. I do like how her uh, body, though, like gets darker as she, as she loses in the fight. And he's beating her. I don't know why Kasumi couldn't do that fight. Good. You're back with us. I mean, uh, as you, you, can, you can guess, there's another fight after this because that'd be so stupid to ha have it end with you doing it. But some, some, yeah. What? That's pointless. Why does it make it look so evil with that expression? I mean, I think it's supposed to be like a level of trust between the two. But still. Yeah, so it's, it's a tag fight, so she's more powerful now. Damn it. Give, at least give me a chance. F fucking hell. Damn it. Stop it. You bitch. Yep, she can transform now. And that's just a. Th so basically, that immediately tells you everything, what's going to happen next. That that, that that's happened. The, the she can take on the forms of other people. So obviously, she's going to be able to take on the forms of Hayate and Ayane. I know this whole thing just kind of reminds me of the finale of the Dead or Alive uh, movie. I don't really have nothing to do with clones around, but the, just the idea of like combining the fighting skills of. The, the fine skills of all the top fighters into one. That's kind of what the plot was about. I th should have used the exact same voice clips there. And of course... Everything goes to shit because Ryu is the one doing things. Only he can get things done in this fucking season. I mean, admittedly, it kind of makes sense. Because with how powerful Ryu's supposed to be in canon, because of Ninja Gaiden, it makes sense. So now I'm going to be casting you one on one. Uh, yeah, so th that that this is why you don't place Kasumi first. It's because they want to set up this thing where, where Kasumi versus her clone is the final fight. Which I don't get why they did that. But th yeah, I, th I think Ko uh, Koei really needs to... Uh, probably, probably the director of Dead or Alive, 
uh, really needs to set up like a thing where I, a complete chart of every single Kasumi clone and what their stories are because it's way too confusing. It's like okay, so we know we know definitely there was Alpha, who is apparently Alpha One Five Two. I think this is supposed to be Alpha One Five Two, but they keep saying Phase Four, which could just mean Phase Four of uh, Alpha One Five Two. But then, is the Phase Four from the start of the story the same one? Is she not False Kasumi? Because False Kasumi is clearly not the same one as this one. I mean, I know, I know the idea is that it's supposed to be like a hundred and that was cool. It's supposed to be like a hundred and fifty of uh, of these uh, clones, sure, but it's just like. It needs to be a bit more clear on the whole thing. It's just dumb how complicated all of this is. You know? It's stupid. Attempt five and a finally win. Quite fitting for DOA five. So is she not? So she? So has Lisa just captured her then, or is she just like died? Because it seems to be the same effect. And that's the thing. It's like these clones are still people. You know. I don't see mindless until you get to that part. It's like, nope. She's still a person. She can feel pain. And where did the rest of them disappear to when everything was blowing up? And why did it imply that Lisa had been killed in the explosion? I don't get it. Ayane. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Ayane, for whatever it was you did. <laughs> I really don't know. Like, that's all. And Eleanor's just still hanging around. See, this is the thing. I was, when I first played this, I was really hoping for Hayate to stop her and invite her back to the village. But no. He won't. Because Hayate is the worst brother ever. Like, I honestly can't think of a worse one. Victor. I don't know, I guess maybe Liquid Snake. But then again, I guess Liquid Snake has a bit of a... Actually has a reason to be a douche to his brother. It's not his brother's fault, but he actually has a reason. Whereas Hayate is like... Hayate is like, nope. Hayate's like, I'm not going to accept my sister back. I mean, pff, what do you think I am? A decent human being. <laughs> and yeah, so I... 
I hate Hayate. Probably worse than Ayane, because Ayane at least has the jealousy thing to um, motivate her. Where he's, he's just like, ah, ha ha ha, no mate. I am not. I'm just a prick. Oh, what's with this shitty, shitty credit music? They keep doing this shitty credits music. It's, oh. It comes from, it does come up like when you have like a Japanese song where that we have someone rapping in English. I've never seen it done well. It's always really bad, mate. Proper well bad. It's just... Ugh. For a minute, I actually forgot Brad was even in the game. Despite my intense hatred for the character. Yeah, so I think... If, if they ever do a Dead or Alive 6, or basically any other DOA games, I probably will let's play it in, in the future. Assuming, assuming I don't give, give up on it completely. Because, as I mentioned before, I'm at the point where... I'm kind of stopping on it. At least slowing down significantly. Because the views aren't enough. But yeah. I don't care about the Japanese cast. I wonder about the uh, Virtua Fighter cast though. Yeah, it, it does. Yeah, it, it's, it's still list uh, Jack and Sarah despite them only being voiced in English. And like, so does this not credit the English voice cast? Because I'm sick to death of Japanese games doing that. They'll have an English voice cast, and then they won't credit them at all. So sometimes you have a case where there's a character and literally nobody knows who voiced the character because they weren't credited in the credits. I mean, they did voice work. It's kind of an important part of the storytelling process. But will, will it say here? No. It's like, do they, do they think the voice actors not deserve credit for the work? They still did work. On these things. I don't give a fuck about the North American publishing. European, there we go. I don't know these people. Oh, Chin! It's Chin, the community manager! Yeah! It's because, basically, uh, Koei Tecmo America, they're, um, they're basically dead at this point. Like, when it comes to the community stuff. So, basically, uh, if you w ever want to get anything across to a uh, Koei, you basically have to go through Co uh, through Koei Europe. And Chin's just like this really cool guy who is a community manager there. That was random. But yeah, now this is just, I've not actually seen this scene before. Because I didn't know about the scene until I'd uh, yeah, still finished the game and read about it on the wiki. <gasps> Riggy's Donovan's son! Everything's going down exactly. Yeah, it's just as fucking stupid as it sounds. Phase four, and she. Yeah, that doesn't tell us anything at all about phase four. But can we not move past the whole Doa Tech story or. Kasumi clone story because it's boring it's so it's f why can we not just move on and do something better I'd, I'd do something useful with our lives like have a real story like Donovan is now the super powered guy and he's like I'm gonna take over the world and beat you ninjas and then you stabs him in the face because that's obviously gonna that's obviously how it's gonna end or at the very least, he'll impale him with his sword and say, Kasumi, now you finish him. And though Ryu will and Kasumi will kinda get the credit, but you'll know Ryu really did it because Ryu has to do everything, because everyone else is a fucking useless piece of shit in this series. I really don't know anymore. Like why I like the series story. 
Because the story's garbage. Like, it's the same stuff every single time. Do a sexy evil company. I mean, at least Resident Evil had the sense to move past Umbrella. I mean, they have different companies, sure, but at least it's different villains. I mean, fucking even Mortal Kombat had the sense to move past Shao Kahn. I mean, they moved on to Quan Chi, so I guess moving on to a different villain isn't always a good idea. Long story short, don't turn... Long story short, don't replace Donovan with Quan Chi or I'll fucking kill you. Also, look at all these extra characters they've added since 5. You've got... Well, Alpha 5 2 was in it anyway, but you've got Nyo Tengu, the... Girl version of Tengu, because... That's something that needed to happen, innit? Cyborg Rido, because that's something that needed to happen. I just don't, don't know why they add these characters, because there's no plot relevance, so they're not going to be significant until 6. Then you've got Marie Rose, the lolly character. Dumb. Mommy G from Ninja Gaiden. Yeah, she's she's good. I would have liked see they could have they should have altered the story mode, put her in there somewhere. She could have been piled around with Ryu. Or they could have done some kind of storyline expansion to include these characters. And Jackie Bryant shows up and he's like with all these shit lines that no one likes, but it's funny, so people like it. Then I'm because and Rachel finally being useful instead of being shit, like she always was. And Leon comes back and he looks like he's like 20 years older. I don't know why. And then Honoka, who has some ties to Cyborg Rido and has some weird magic power fist. Which is not going to be explained until we finally move on to the next game. And Phase 4, who is Kasumi, but gameplay wise better in every single way. Why can't we get something to do with these characters? Also, the char I wish you could rearrange the select screen because. This is like between shit, okay. These two being together, sure. These two, these two, these two, these two even, because they have the same fighting style, sure, why not? Bayman and Sarah Bryant, I mean, they want to keep the virtual fighter characters together, I guess, but could they not find a better character to put here? And then Christie's with Bass. I guess because Bayman's supposed to be with Christy, and Bass is meant to be with Rig, and Lei Fang's supposed to be with Jan Lee. And he's told me he's supposed to be with Zack. So I guess Phase 4 is the cause of the problem. But why not put Phase 4 with Alpha? And why didn't bring Alpha back in the first place if that moveset isn't part of the story? You know? I, this, this game, the design of it just baffles me in so many ways. But there is one last thing I just absolutely have to show you guys. It's, it's, a, it's great. You go to Extras go to movies and you can watch all the cutscenes it, it, that's cool then you can view all the victory poses if you've unlocked them so you've got normal and perfect basically for every character I don't know why the back what the backgrounds are about it's kind of weird also bass wearing this outfit that he never wore in the story mode I don't know what the deal with that is then you got the defeat poses and the, at least in the original DOA 5 there was actually an achievement for obtaining every single one of them and some of them are kind of suggestive, especially with the girls. And I think Pai Chan basically cries like a bitch. It's hilarious. Then Private Paradise. I don't know what these are. And I'm sure you're curious too. But I can't watch it. And I can't show you, so... Look it up, because I'm sure whatever it is, it's going to be fucking hilarious.